Hey folks, Randy Go, Tribe Magnet Man with you here today. Uh, today, I'm going to do a review on the new Diva Ballistic FW-1000SP reel that I just recently purchased uh, out of Japan. But before we get into that, just let me give you a little update of what I've been doing. Uh, I haven't been fishing. Uh, last week we had the rain, had spill gates open uh, at the Trout River over Normandy. Uh, couldn't fish it, way too much water. Uh, between the rain, uh, the storms, uh, at Nickajack, they had the spill gates open pretty good, although I could have fished Nickajack, probably had the weather cooperated. Uh, but I wasn't going to get out in the storms and the rain. And uh, now it's brutal cold. So. <laughs> Uh, this is always not a good time of year for me. I would love to be fishing, but I just cannot do the cold, folks. Just cannot do it. And me and the cold do not get along. So what do I do this time of year? Is, uh, I do most every year this time. Uh, the past few years, I order equipment out of Japan. So, you know, I love my Dawa Luvius reels. And uh, I've only got uh, one of them that's... Uh, uh, low ratio reel, 4.8 uh, gear ratio, and uh, was looking to get some more. Well, none of Japanese web stores carry any more of the uh, uh, 2015 Luvius, so they didn't, you know, two, three, four weeks ago, they didn't have any. And I have, uh, y'all saw me do the review on the Diver Presso Limited 1025, which is a $400 reel, but I've got this one on sale. Little did I know, you know, I should have bought three or four of these from Platt when this went on sale. This reel, as best I can tell, is out of production. And while you can find some of them on eBay, they're $400. Uh, well, they're more than $400. Some places on eBay, they're $470, $480, and I'm not going to pay that for that. So I got to looking, and I knew, or I suspected, that the Luvius was up for a, a, a refresh. I did not know when it would be. I mean, you never know when that's going to be because they, they keep it pretty close to the vest. I mean, you, you, you can kind of get an idea when there's not any in stock, but you don't, you don't really know that till it comes out. Well, sure enough, the, uh, the next morning after I ordered this reel, I ordered four of these reels, two for me and two for my nephew, uh, they announced uh, the 2020 Luvius. Now, I would have immediately ordered a 2020 Luvius ahead of this. But what I found interesting was on the 2020 Luvius, there is no 1000 series. There's no longer a 4.8 gear ratio for the new model Luvius reels. This Ballistic FW1000S, it is 4.8 gear ratio, only takes in 23 inches of line per crank of the handle. Uh, I found a place on eBay that sold these for $216. The Japanese web stores that I usually deal with sell this reel for $268 to $270, depending on what the yen is. And I thought, well, okay, let me do some research. So I, I, I waded through hours of uh, auto-translated YouTube videos about this reel. I found an article out of Japan that uh, translated, refers to this as the little exists. Now, for those of you who know, the Daiwa Exist is Daiwa's flagship spinning reel. Well, first off, let me say, this doesn't approach an exist. Uh, trust me on that. It does not. Uh, and I knew that. I, I knew, you know, I was just reading that. But uh, I, I translated Russian videos, Japanese videos uh, about this reel. The selling point of this reel was the low inertia required to get the rotation started. There is no mag seal in this reel. Uh, that is, and it's, the FW stands for fresh water. It's only intended to be used in fresh water because there is no mag seal. But evidently, according to Daiwa, and everything I've been able to read, mag seal in a reel, you require a little bit more inertia to get it going. And that may be true, but it's barely perceptible, to me anyway. The Presso Limited 1025, uh, it does not have the mag seal at all anywhere in it. Uh, 
And one of the good things about not having mag seal in this reel is I can take it to the local reel guy here and have him service it. Uh, I don't have to send it off anywhere. Uh, for someone who is, is qualified and trained to do uh, mag seal work. Uh, this reel comes with uh, eight bearings. I bought a bearing kit and added four bearings to this reel. Took out four bushings and added four bearings. And yes, it does make a difference. It, it, to most people, it'd be barely discernible, but believe me, it, it would make a huge difference. I took, there was a bushing on the spool support I'll take this off and show you, which was a nylon bushing. Uh, and right here, there was a bushing right here and it's now replaced with a bearing. And inside the spool, there was a metal bushing up in here that uh, was the bearing, or I'm sorry, was the uh, drag support uh, bushing. Now it was metal, but it has now been replaced with a bearing also. And also, I took out two bushings on the knob. And on the knob, there are now two bearings in place, which makes a world of difference, by the way, a world of difference. And I also added a Zion knob to this reel. Uh, I had a Zion knob on my Daiwa Ignis Type R that I don't, I don't use it at all. So I just swapped the knob to come with this to the knob on the Daiwa Ignis. I really like the Zion knobs. Total in this reel, I have 247 bucks. Now, you know, that's that's not bad. The new, the new Luvius, as I've said, is 270 bucks. Now, would I do it all over again would I put $247 into that reel if I'd known the Luvius was out for $270 uh, probably not I probably wouldn't have done it because I can guarantee you this is a quality reel but I can guarantee you the Luvius the 2020 Luvius is going to be a much better build quality it's, it just is when you get these uh, items out of Japan versus items out of China, Malaysia, Vietnam, that may be made for the Japanese market, that may be a quality item, but they do not have the attention to detail, the quality, and the workmanship that is of an item that is actually made in Japan. The Diver Presso Limited is made in Japan. Of course, we're talking the $400 reel, and it's, 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 it's build and workmanship, and I mean, it's quality, it's just impeccable. Uh, this reel is good it's very good but it's it doesn't match up to the build of Alluvius or Presso because both those reels are made in Japan uh, it's the same way with a rod you can get a high-end aging or trout rod that's made in Vietnam made in uh, uh, Thailand made uh, uh, in China made in Korea they're very good rods uh, they're worth the money you pay for them but get you a high-end aging or a Beirut or area trout rod out of Japan and compare the, compare the quality of the build. There, it's not the same. The build quality of anything coming out of Japan is far superior. Their, their attention to detail is just, it's unbelievable. I mean, they just, they just do it better. It's just that simple. But having said that, this is about the uh, FW1000 SP. Uh, if I didn't say this was designed for with the intent of selling it to uh, in the Japanese market to people who area trout fish uh, those are pay lakes over there they're, they're all over the country uh, where you go and you land uh, big trout uh, in a basically a pond uh, this reel uh, was designed with the low inertia in mind to get the start of the crank, which evidently area trout anglers really want that uh, in a reel. Uh, and you, I did a lot of video, or saw a lot of videos uh, that I translated where area trout anglers were using this reel. I also uh, watched a YouTube video of this reel where a Russian uh, disassembled it completely. Uh, uh, it's auto-translated. I watched that video for an hour and five minutes, I think it was. 
learned a lot of info about this reel, read a lot of articles, had them translated. I'm happy with the purchase. There's no doubt about it. I might even buy another one of these reels. Uh, for those of you that may want to buy this reel, at $216, if you don't buy the bearing kit, at $216, it's a darn good reel. It's, 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 it's an excellent buy, I will say that. Uh, then you're coming in at, uh, uh, you know, 16, you're coming in at uh, $54 less than Luvius. Um, it's worth that. It is worth it. Adding the Barons to it versus over getting the Luvius, uh, I wouldn't do that. I, I, I say I wouldn't do that. I don't know because the Luvius reel has got the 5.1 ratio. It's going to take in 26 inches of line and versus the 23 inches. So I can't really say that I would, you know, I wouldn't buy it. If you have to have that 4.8 ratio, you don't have a lot of choice now. Dye was done away with the, uh, evidently they've done away with the Presso. Uh, there is no 1000 series Luvius anymore. They've done away with 1000 series Certate. So it's going to be the ballistic or a step up to uh, the exist model, which is uh, 670, 650 bucks, something like that. But uh, anxious to get on the water and try this reel out, see how it does. Uh, I'm sure it will do fine. Uh, this reel, by the way, if I didn't mention, has a one-piece bail, whereas the uh, uh, 2015 Luvius had a two-piece bail. The 1025 uh, uh, Dial Presso Limited had a single-piece bail. This has a single-piece bail, too. It's really a sweet-looking reel, and I, I gotta tell you, folks, the, the lightness of this reel, the rotation, it's very close to the Presso Limited. It's very, very close. I mean, it is. I'm really impressed with it. Uh, and of course, the uh, five and a half ounce weight of this reel is, 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 is remarkable. Uh, the, uh, if I didn't mention, the new Luvius that uh, is coming down the road uh, is going to be uh, 10 grams lighter than this reel. So that's going to be a third of an ounce less than this one, which is quite remarkable to tell you the truth. So anyway, uh, I want to thank all of you for watching. Uh, appreciate the support of the channel. And as I say, when this weather gets better, uh, I will get out fishing. Believe you me, if I get a shot, if I get a window there to go fish, uh, when the weather gives me a break, I, I, will, I will be fishing. I also have some reviews coming up of uh, some other lures out of Japan. I got uh, review coming up of uh, well quite a few things coming out of Japan really so anyway uh, I want to thank all of you once again for watching appreciate the support of the channel appreciate the comments uh, if you like the video I appreciate you hitting the like button uh, if you haven't subscribed I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and we're going to keep doing the videos folks uh, as I've said before winter is just not a good time of year for me I've got to where I just despise it uh, it's all I do to get through winter now so anyway, uh, until next time, soar lip them all, and life is good.